Hi, welcome to Community and Primary Healthcare Nurse Week. My name is Rachel Fishlock. I'm the Aged Care Assessment Manager at Ballarat Health Services and currently Acting Director of Community Programs. I'm here today talking to Doff Kemp. Doff, you've had a working career of 35 plus years. I have. Correct? Indeed. <laughs> um, Doff's recently retired from the Aged Care Assessment Team in May of this year and I've had the privilege of working with Doff for 10 years on and off. So welcome Doff. Thank you. Thanks Thank for coming. You. Thanks Rachel. Um, I've just got a couple of questions I think and just to highlight community nursing because mm -hmm. um, that's what we're here to celebrate. So can you tell us about your career in nursing and how you started out? Well the way in which I started out was quite quite different to the way um, I finished I guess but um, I, I actually trained, I did a general nurses training at the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne so even though I did three years at at the children's and six months at the Melbourne, I was qualified as a generally trained nurse. So it was a bit of an unusual situation, and was, you know, different to other RNs, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I worked in paediatrics for 10 years and loved it. And when I had my own children, I suddenly couldn't work with children, with ill, dying children anymore. So I had to think about what, what I was going to do. Um, I was always interested in community work. I went to TAFE and did a welfare course and at the end of the welfare course there was a um, six months post basic gerontic course here at Queen Elizabeth Centre and I did that which I thoroughly enjoyed and that really was the start of my introduction to aged care mm -hmm. and community nursing. So for a number of years I worked as what was called a welfare nurse. So in those days there were social workers employed by hospitals but not actually many in this hospital. And so we covered you know, a pretty broad range during that time. Um, and then I became community nurse as part of the aged care assessment team mm -hmm. as time went by. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so you started I started. babies. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and you ended up probably assessing a 100 plus year old. Yes, <laughs> but I guess that, you know, some people would say, oh, you know, did it feel a bit the same? And I said, look, I wish, you know, I wish it was the same, but it was so much more tricky, of course. Yes. Yeah. It's you know, so much, very, very different, different. really, yeah. very different. So do you have a specific memory of a time when you helped someone in the community? Well, in those days, I guess, there weren't a lot of other um, health professionals working in the community, so nurses were pretty, you know, had to approach from a pretty broad perspective. And um, I do remember um, that I was working um, with helping discharge patients yeah. and um, this particular elderly lady was all ready to go home, everything was sort of set up at home, but she had no toilet. Her, she'd had a porta potty and the porta potty had become blocked a long time before and that was the thing that was stopping her going home. So. The medical staff, the other staff from the hospital were saying, well, you know, she can't go home, she hasn't got, to go to toilet, hasn't got a toilet. She was terribly frustrated. So another community nurse and myself went out there with gowns and gloves and masks. And it was a big job. <laughs> and I guess we had a lot of laughs, actually. It was, yeah. So I, re I remember that quite distinctly. And she went home the next day. And it seemed like so easily solved. Yeah. That's amazing. That's, I can imagine you, Doc. <laughs> um, so when did you know you wanted to be a community nurse? Oh, certainly when I was in paediatrics, I didn't have that feeling at all. Um, I think it was really when I came into the gerontic course. Yeah. Uh, and I'd always, and you know, the the welfare experience I had during the course I was doing at TAFE, that I, I just really became, you know. Focusing, I, I was generally interested in what was happening in the community and families. And, yeah. So, what were your aspirations at that time? Um, when you were looking ahead to your career, did you? Yeah, I knew, I knew that I needed much more experience and I needed to go on different angles, which I did. Yeah. Um, I, as time went on, you know, in the early days, people with dementia were it was it was a little bit regarded as it's just part of normal aging rather than yeah. you know this is an illness um so and i didn't have much experience in that at all so i decided that i wanted to become you know more informed on that so i actually 
went sideways, you know, working in a big organisation, you have wonderful opportunities, and I went and became a um, coordinated a day respite program for people with dementia. And also I became really involved with carers, and I ran, in those days too, there was limited resources in the community, so I was very involved with the Alzheimer's Association and running um, education programs for carers, and, you know, coordinated the carers group. And so, um, so I did that for 10 years, part-time, yeah. and part-time remaining as community nurse. And then at the end of 10 years, I went back into the community nursing role and I felt so much better informed and much, so much, you know, much, much better experience, really. I'd had hands-on experience yeah. and there's nothing quite like that. That life experience. Yeah. yeah. Um, and how did the nursing in the community impact your family life? Was it a positive experience? I know you've said that... Probably need to ask them. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you realise that you couldn't work with sick ch children. Yeah. And I completely get that. I understand. I, I don't think I could do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I think it had a good impact, really, because I was happy. Yeah. I was fulfilled. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the hours were good. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. And yeah. I was very privileged, really, in that I, I rarely worked full time. So that allowed me yeah. know, time with the family. Mm. And, I, you know, it was a very, the um, organisation was very supportive. You know, even in those days, and it was a different sort of arrangement, but they were pretty supportive in terms of family. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think it had a negative impact at all. Great. Um, what was the biggest issue at that time in community nursing? Well, of course, there was very limited other services. And, um, you know, that... I guess your role was big because yeah. there wasn't very many places that you could refer people to unless they were acutely ill. Yeah. Um, so, because you didn't know it any other way, I guess you just got on and did it. So you probably did. I mean, the good thing about those days was you had plenty of time. So if the person needed the time and they needed to be transported or they needed whatever they needed, you could do it. Right. So very you know, different from now. Very yeah. different. So there was a lot of a sort of a more of a case ma case management role in many ways. Yeah. Because there wasn't many other people out there to do it. And um, in the last ten years, what do you think are the major changes that you've seen in community nursing? Oh, enormous, enormous. Um, I guess from the specialised area that I was working in with aged care was the, the biggest thing was the time management and the, the amount of time. You had to, um, you know, really be very careful with your time. Yeah. And yeah. the other thing, of course, that has happened is there's been huge development in other services. So you your role became more specifically nursing as opposed to the other things that you might the have general. done. general, yeah. 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 So for me that was a bit hard. And I think yeah. it was hard to the very end, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, you did well. <laughs> so what were the challenges? Um, what were the challenges then? Well, yeah, uh, yeah. I guess the, the challenges were really getting support for people when they needed it. You know, if it was in home, I mean, you, you, some things you could get, but some things you, get, you couldn't get. Um, and I guess... I'm talking about aged care, I guess, well, I guess attitudes were very different in those days too. Yeah. So there was a bit of an attitude, you know, she's 90 years old, she can't walk now or she's never going to be able to walk because she's yeah. 90. So there was a lot of that you had to work with. I guess now, knowing like that we've worked together, the challenges are that you see someone in desperate need and there's a weight Indeed. that's out of your control. Indeed. And, and you know that they've got to plot along in the community. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, now that that's mm. the biggest challenge that I had at the end really. Yeah. So what were your achievements? Oh, I don't know. It's hard to know. It's hard to be. Um, I think I think I learned if I think about where I'd come from, I think my paediatric training was very good for me. I think because the paediatric training is you have to have great attention to detail and you know, look for the signs. Yeah. You're not going to be yeah. told things yeah. necessarily. So that observation, you know, I think I learned to be observant. Um, and I think at the end, I feel like I had a fairly good understanding of older people 
living in the community in their family context. I mean, that's the that's the joy of community nursing, really, is that you you have the privilege of being part of a family and giving them some time and helping them you know, try and walk in their shoes a little way. Mm, um, you can't you can't get that in a hospital situation because you don't have that you know you're not you're not seeing them in their own environment is so different from anything else. And being privileged to be there. Being privileged to be there. Yeah. And people are extraordinarily generous with their time and um, prepar you know, being prepared to share their stories. Yeah, in um, their darkest hours sometimes. In their darkest hours, absolutely. Yeah. Mm. And, you know, especially now, they're being asked the same questions by a lot of people. Unfortunately, that's supposed mm. to change. May change. I don't know whether it will, but they do have to repeat the same story a lot. Mm. And I'm not sure that I'd be so gracious. <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Watch this space. <laughs> so, what do you want to say to the future community nurses out there? Oh, what do I want to say to the community nurses? Um, take time to listen to people, listen to the client and their family. Um, try and walk in their shoes for a little while, try to get some understanding of what their reality is and what they want to do with it, um, and very importantly, communication, you know, regardless of time, communication is still the most important thing, making sure that you do communicate with the right people. Mm. It's not as easy anymore, but, you know, with modern technology, on one hand, it might, you know, it, it could be too, so it doesn't have to be put in person. Yeah. Um, but I think, um, and showing respect for the families that you meet. And lastly, what do you believe your legacy is? No idea. It's not for me to say, really. <laughs> oh, I, I hope. Um, I don't know. Um, I just hope that that I've left behind that idea of just being prepared to um, listen to people and somehow help them with, you know, even in, in difficult times, giving them some hope and um, supporting way in, to help them, you know, with their next move, I guess. Just that's what I always try to do. Yeah. Um, so I'd like to think that was my legacy, but you know, oh, look, I was just saying. Having worked with you for 10 years, you walk alongside with the clients and people we see and you, you hold their head and you help them in every step. So well, I think that's I your legacy, to the caring. Yeah. Thanks, Doff. Thanks, Thanks so much for taking the time to do this. It's a pleasure. <laughs>